uh, Ben Steiner. I'm the writer of uh, Dead Windows, which I'm very pleased to say has come third in the Shaw Scripts um, 2015 uh, screenwriting competition. Um, so Dead Windows is a, a supernatural horror story and I've really tried to do something um, fresh and different in that space because uh, although I love um, creepy supernatural horror uh, in all its forms from uh, you know, films to TV to plays to art installations, you know, wherever I can find it, I seek it out. Um, I think a lot of supernatural horror is um, quite formulaic and allows, by being formulaic, uh, allows the viewer uh, to, to kind of become comfortable and relaxed, which is, um, for my money, kind of the opposite of what uh, horror should, um, should really be about. So, like I say, I've tried to do something um, really, uh, yeah, a, a kind of a bit different and um, kind of transgressive and hopefully uh, genuinely disturbing and horrific with Dead Windows. So um, Dead Windows is about a teenage boy who is um, tormented um, in his um, uh, family uh, home and, and beyond it, in fact, uh, but is tormented by what he at first thinks um, are uh, visions of his, his doppelganger, um, and these visions lead him to discover a uh, secret bunker underneath the family home where his dad um, is kind of living out a, a kind of horrific uh, parallel version of family life upstairs. It's kind of a ultra-violent parody of, um, of, his, uh, of the family life and in particular uh, his relationship uh, with his son. And so it's what, it's what the dad is doing in the bunker. Um, which you'll have to read the script to, to find out, um, that is creating these, these kind of ghost-like apparitions that the son is, uh, is in fact mistaking for being his own um, doppelganger. Um, so uh, the, uh, the script kind of begins with these, uh, with these, these visions of the, of the pseudo doppelganger, um, which, uh, you know, by turns sometimes creepy and kind of ghost-like at other times, uh, shocking and visceral, but hopefully always things that haven't um, been seen before in in uh, supernatural horror films. Um, but then, when the the cause of the of these visions is discovered, um, it's actually more horrific um, than the visions themselves. Because again, I think that's that's another um, area in which a lot of supernatural horror falls down is that when the the cause of the horror is discovered, it's something kind of remote. Um, like uh, you know, an ancient curse, or you know, a hundred-year-old ghost, or something like that. Um, that kind of feels very removed from from you know the world of the of the audience who's watching the film. Um, whereas uh, in Dead Windows, with this um, the kind of the secret bunker underneath the family home, um, that I, that will resonate with uh, you know any modern audience who's familiar with um, you know Joseph Fritzl or um, any of the American uh, equivalents. Whose names I forget right now, but um, but that um, that conceit of the you know the kind of the family man um, or the kind of ordinary guy who's who's kind of harboring a very dark secret in a secret bunker underneath um, underneath his home in which he's keeping people captive um, is uh, you know is is a very kind of contemporary uh, story. Um, so uh, I think I've said enough, but um, I hope you'll go on to uh, to read and enjoy if that's the word uh dead windows and um thanks for watching bye